What we see here is drunk on power. I don't like that you take this position on this bill, so I'm going to silence you. That's a form of slavery. I feel like a slave sometime in this building. I'm over it. And all the members standing here are over it. At what point are we going to truly be a democratic body? Respect the fact that every single one of us are represented by the same amount of people in their districts. And we all deserve the same voice and the same level of respect, regardless if we agree or not. I am tired of the Republican Party expecting us as minorities to, 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 to do what they want to do, but treat us disrespectfully. Nah, we're not doing that no more. It's we're probably, we at this time of session where gloves off. And I support any of my members have the right to defend themselves, to not accept disrespect, and we shouldn't respect, expect disrespect from the other side of the aisle. I just want to get it off my chest. <laughs> Y'all heard it. You can repeat it. But it had to be said. Senator Oliver. London Lamar's comments could be perceived as exaggerated and provocative. There appears to be a deliberate attempt to discredit political opposition by drawing parallels between Republican dominance in the state legislature and the historical injustice of slavery. Lamar contends that political dissent and the legislative process are equated with enslavement, thereby diminishing the gravity and significance of actual slavery. This rhetoric seems to serve as a partisan maneuver rather than fostering meaningful discourse. It suggests a broader trend towards victimization and identity politics within contemporary political discussions. While Lamar's remarks may stem from frustration with the political system and a desire to learn from history, they are utilized by the Democratic Party to serve its own interests rather than to genuinely confront past injustices. This reflects the deep ideological divisions and challenges in finding common ground within a polarized society. Engaging in respectful dialogue and constructive engagement is essential for addressing social issues effectively.